Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this video, I will be discussing what is email header. In the last session, we discussed what is Exchange Online Protection and how it filter emails on each filtering level. In this particular session, I will be discussing what is an email header, what does email header include, and how we can analyze email header. Before we discuss what is an email header, Let's discuss how a letter or an envelope is sent to the recipients. In this scenario, John is going to send a letter to Bob. John will write a letter and in two field, he will type the name and address of Bob. And in from field, he will type his name and his address. When John will send this letter, a postman will pick this letter and will check to and from details. Two is the address of the recipient where this postman will deliver this letter and from address will be treated as return path to return this letter in case Bob's address is not found. If postman is able to find the recipient address, he will deliver this letter to Bob. And if he doesn't find the address, he will return this letter to the address which is mentioned in from field. An email is delivered in the same way. If John wants to send email to Bob, John will compose an email and will type Bob at xyz.com into field and will send that email. If we analyze this email header, we will see a few values to, from, and return path. An email header is divided in P1 header and P2 header. P1 header includes mail from and recipient address. P2 header includes from and to address. If we analyze an email header, the first tab will give a summary of the email. In this tab, we can see subject of the email. The message ID is a unique ID assigned to the email. With the help of a message ID, we can track the routing of a particular email. Message ID is assigned by the email server that processes the email. Under creation time, we can see the date and time when this particular email was sent. From address will contain the email address of the sender and to address will contain the email address of the recipient. Next tab in an email header is received headers. Under this tab, we can see the routing of a particular email. We can see from which server it was processed and to which server it was delivered. In this tab, we can also find if there was a delay in the delivery of this particular email. The next tab in email header is forefront anti-spam report header. Under this tab, language indicates in what language this email was sent by the sender. Spam confidence level is a value which is stamped on an email as per the action taken by anti-spam filtering policies within Exchange Online Protection. If SCL is minus one, that means this email is an internal email. If SCL value is zero to one, that means this particular email is not a spam email. If SCL value ranges from five to six, in that case, this email is marked as a spam email. And if SCL value is nine, that means this particular email is filtered as high confidence spam email. Spam filtering verdict is a value which is stamped by anti-spam filtering policies during filtering of the emails. Spam filtering verdict depends on the SCL value which is assigned to a particular email. In this example, spam filtering verdict is SKI. That means spam filtering was skipped on this email because this is an internal email. If email is categorized as spam, then spam filtering verdict will be SPM. If the email is not marked as spam, then spam verdict will be NSPM. IP filter verdict indicates if the sender's IP address has a good reputation or it is listed on a bad reputation IP list. NLI means this IP address was not found on any IP reputation list. HELO or 
EHLO string stands for hello or extended hello string. This attribute has a name of this server which has processed this particular email. This is known as connecting server as well. Connecting IP address is the IP address of the email server that has processed a particular email. Protection policy will show the category that was applied on a particular email. If category is blank, that means this email was sent to an internal user. If email was marked as spam, category for that email will be SPM. Source header will give you a consolidated view where we can check connecting IP address, SEL value, IP filter verdict, language and country from where the email was sent. Unknown fields will have a value if email is an inbound email or this is an outbound email. On the next tab, we will see authentication results. Under authentication results, we can see whether SPF was passed or failed on a particular email. We can check the IP address of the sender email server. We can see from which domain the email was sent. We can see if DKIM was passed or it failed on a particular email. We can check which domain added the DKIM digital signatures on the email. We can check if DMARC was passed or it got failed on a particular email and what action was taken by the recipient server as per the policy defined by the sender's domain in DMARC record. Received SPF tab will show the details of the SPF results. Under this tab, we can find details of SPF validation. We can check if the sender's IP address was added within his SPF record or not. The next tab will show you the DKM signatures which were stamped by the sender's email server. We have discussed DKIM record in details. If you have missed that video, please watch it so that you can have a good understanding of DKIM. I will be sharing the link of that particular video in the comments. The next value in the header is X originating IP. This is the public IP address that the sender used to send this email. Most of the time, this attribute will show you a public IP address of your ISP. The next header value is return path. This is the email address to which a bounce back or an NDR will be sent in case email is not delivered to the recipient. XMS exchange cross tenant auth as will show if email is an internal email or an external email. If email is an internal email, you will see a value internal. If this is an external email, the value will be anonymous. We can collect email header from Outlook client and from OWA. To collect an email header from Outlook client, we will double click on an email. We will go to file and then properties. The text that you will see in this box, copy the entire text and go to a browser. And here type exrca.com. It will redirect you to testconnectivity.microsoft.com. From here, we will click on Message Analyzer. And within this box, we will paste the text that we have copied from Outlook Client and then click Analyze Headers. So here it will give you a view of email header. You can see all the tabs, summary, received headers, forefront anti spam report header and Microsoft anti-spam header and the entire header for this particular email. From summary page, we can see the subject of the email, the message ID, creation time on what time and date this email was sent, what is the from address, from which email address this email was sent, and to whom this email is sent. From received headers, we can see from which server this email was sent, which servers have processed the email and on which server this email was delivered. To collect email header from OWA, we will select the email and we'll click on more actions. From here, we will click on view and then view message details. We will copy the entire text and then we will go to message analyzer and we'll paste the text that we have copied. In the same way, you will get the entire information of that particular email. 
So in this particular session, we have discussed what is an email header and what does it contain? We have discussed how we can collect email header from Outlook and OWA and how we can analyze the email headers. In the next section, I will be discussing what are Mailflow rules and how we can control email routing using Mailflow rules. And I will be showing you how we can create Mailflow rules from Exchange Admin Center and from PowerShell. So if you have learned something new from this particular session, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.